a brand new procurement. If it's a re-procurement, you have some ammunition in your belt, especially if it's forecasted months in advance. And what we try to do is put our forecast a full year in advance, and we're weekly updating it. So although you may get the printed copy today, go on the website and look at the live version because we're updating it weekly. If a procurement or if an acquisition is a re-procurement, one of the first things you want to do is contact the small business manager and ask a question if you don't know. Then what you want to do also is write to that agency under the Freedom of Information Act. You want to get a copy of the current statement of work. Also, you want to ask for the current pricing of the contract. You may not get, and you won't get individual cost elements, how a contract is derived at the total price, but at least you will get the total price elements instead of individual cost elements. So this way, you can start marketing that acquisition. You know what the statement of work says. You just want to change too much for procurement to procurement. You have the total cost of what the government paid for. So when the requirement comes out on federal business obligations, you're armed with information. Because if you're not doing this, your competition is. And so when it comes out on federal business opportunities that you only have three weeks to respond, you're not running around. That's the way you have to market the federal government ahead of time. As Dan said in the first session, homework, homework, homework is very important. The second part of the question dealt with request for information or sources sought. Typically, it's the small business office pushing back to the program offices that we've got to issue a source of sought or request for information because we're looking for small business contractors. As I said earlier, we know large business can do it. We're looking for you to respond because the federal acquisition regulation states that if there are two or more small businesses who are capable of providing a meaningful offer at a fair, reasonable price, the government shall set it aside for small business. It doesn't give the contracting officer any wiggle room. The word is shall. So that's why it's important for you to answer those sources sought and request for information. And I'm going to give you, just for reference, real quick, give you a little bit of a horror story that happened to a small business contractor at TSA. During Hurricane Katrina, we found out that our own employees were affected by the storm. We could not operate the airports in New Orleans or any other airports in the Gulf states because our security officers and our screeners were affected as well. So we had to scramble to send screeners and security officers down to the airports. Well, TSA, we decided we were going to write a contract for a mobile screening force to have screeners deployed, ready to go. This contract was written with IBO. They subcontracted 100% of the contract out to a small business to manage a mobile screening force. When the contract came up for re-procurement, we issued a source of sought. No small businesses, well, should I say the incumbent small business, who was a subcontractor under that prime, never answered the source of sought. But see, we had no idea that a small business was doing it because we have no privy of relationship with the subcontractor, only the prime. Well, contractors did respond, and what we found out, we had a number of 8As fully qualified. So what we did was name the contract an 8A set-aside. And we're talking about a $15 to $20 million contract. 8A competitive set-aside, the incumbent contractor was not an 8A. Excuse me, the incumbent subcontractor was not an 8A. We would have never done that because we would have allowed that subcontractor to play. We would have just made it a small business set-aside. But once the requirement and the synopsis went out that it was an 8A set-aside, we could not reverse our course. So that's why it's so important to answer the request for information. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.